Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas in Math, Section 5.4, Comparing and Graphing Ratios Lesson. Pause while you write Section 5.4 Lesson in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is compare and graph ratios. Today we'll start working on page 212 in your math textbook. We'll start with example 1, comparing ratios. You mix 8 tablespoons of hot sauce and 3 cups of salsa in a green bowl. You mix 12 tablespoons of hot sauce and 4 cups of salsa in an orange bowl. Which mixture is hotter? Use ratio tables to compare the mixtures. Find a larger batch of each mixture in which the amount of hot sauce or salsa is the same. So if we look at our green bowl mixture, our hot sauce began at 8 tablespoons and our salsa was at 3 cups and then we multiplied by 4 to get 32 tablespoons of hot sauce and 12 cups of salsa. And then we look at our orange bowl and we started with 12 tablespoons of hot sauce and 4 cups of salsa and we multiplied by 3 and that gave us the same 12 that we have in our green bowl. So we're looking for 12 cups of salsa to be equal and then that but but our 36 is different, so that way we can compare the 32 and the 36. So the tables show that for a larger batch of each mixture, using 12 cups of salsa, the orange bowl would have four more tablespoons of hot sauce. So the mixture in the orange bowl is hotter. Example 2, we're going to also compare ratios, but we're going to do it by comparing unit rates. So which bag of dog food is the better buy? We're going to use ratio tables to find and compare the unit costs. So we have a 20 pound bag or a 30 pound bag. So our cost for the 20 pound bag is $17.20 and our cost for the 30 pound bag is $25.20. So for the 20 pound bag we divide 1720 by 20 and we find out that the cost per pound is 86 cents and then with the 25 or with the 30 pound bag we divide 2520 by 30 and we find out that the cost is 84 cents per pound so the 20 pound bag costs 86 86 cents per pound and the 30 pound bag costs 84 cents per pound because 84 cents is less than 86 cents the 30 pound bag is the better buy Finally, example 3 has us graphing values from ratio tables. So a hot air balloon rises 9 meters every 3 seconds, but a blimp rises 7 meters every 2 seconds. So letter A, we're going to complete the ratio table for each aircraft and tell which rises faster. So the ratio table has been completed for us because The hot air balloon rises 9 meters every 3 seconds, so 
we are multiplying by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9, 6 times 3 is 18, 9 times 3 is 27, 12 times 3 is 36. And then the blimp rises 7 meters every 2 seconds. So for the first entry, we can see that the time is seconds and the height is 7. And the second entry, it doubles. So the time is 4 seconds and the height is 14. And then every time it goes up by 2 seconds, the height goes up by 7. So that's how that is filled in. So every 6 seconds, the balloon rises 18 meters and the blimp rises 21 meters. So when we have our time in seconds being the same, so that's what we look for, is something that's the same so we can compare the height and we can see that the blimp rises faster. Now that we have the ratio tables, we're asked to graph the ordered pairs, which is the time and the height from the tables in part A. And then we need to make a conclusion. So first we are going to write the ordered pairs. So those are written out for us. The balloon is 3, 9, 6, 18, and so on. And the blimp is 2, 7, 4, 14. And we need to remember that we always go across first and then up when we're graphing. So we plot and label. So we go across to 3 and then up to 9, across to 6, and up to 18, across to 9, and up to 27, and across to 12, and up to 36, and then we connect those dots. You would be using a ruler. And then to do the blimp, we would do the same thing with those ordered pairs. Both graphs begin at 0, and the graph for the blimp is steeper, so the blimp rises faster than the hot air balloon. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete the following on your own problems. They are also on pages 212 and 213 in your textbook. Show your work and be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You need to complete your exit slip back at the website. You also need to come to our next class prepared with the journal pages that we did during the flipped lesson or any other work that we did for the flipped lesson completed. You also need to be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed and be ready with any questions you have for your teacher and as always have a good attitude. We'll see you tomorrow in class. Remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You must complete your exit slip. You must come to our next class prepared with your journal pages or any other work that we did during the flipped lesson completed. And you need to be prepared with any work that was assigned during the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have about the content of the flipped lesson and a good attitude. We'll see you in class tomorrow.